Hi, I'm Tom and in this quick tip for Revit, I will show you how to create wall sweeps around ends of wall. So I've got a wall here and I've got this crown molding and I want to create return around the end of the wall. So I want to go from this to this. I will also show you how to use this tool to create if I have a baseboard and there is a curtain wall here. Uh, it's not possible to place sweep here, so we will have to use this technique also for creating baseboard here. So let's get to it. As you can see, I've got the crown molding from both sides of this wall. And if I wanted to create a wall sweep, it doesn't enable me to create wall sweep at the end of the wall. So I have to use different technique. And the technique is that I select one of the wall sweeps and I use this modify returns tool and I will select this one and it makes it makes the the end a bit longer I selected an angle 90 which is usually the one that you want to use and I hit escape select this crown molding modify returns modify also this one and it's made longer now I cannot stretch it but what I will use is I will use the align tool and align to this face and I will align this face. Now you can see that it has been connected properly and the return around the end of the wall is created. We can use the same technique for creating the baseboard into the wall opening of the, of the curtain wall. So I will select the wall sweep, select modify returns click this face it's only a little bit longer because it's it's really thin but now I can select the align tool select this face select and I have to tab in to select the end and it has created the the, the baseboard up to the curtain wall if I want it I can stretch it and change the length to be a bit less or a bit more but uh, here I want to have it like this now both of these sweeps, the baseboard and also the crown molding, were created with the wall sweep tool. They weren't part of the wall structure. When the wall sweep is part of the wall structure, it's not as flexible. And I will show it to you on a different example. This one, this, these sweeps are part of the wall. As you can see when I go to edit type of the wall, when I take a look at it from the side, where you can see I have uh, created these two sweeps as part of the wall structure. And here, when I want to create the return, I will use the same technique. Select the wall, select modify returns, select this one, this one, hit escape, go to modify, align. Now I have to tab to select this face select this face you can see that it works almost the same but the problem is that there's this line here I don't know how to get rid of it uh, the line will be visible also in uh, in elevation views so it's a bit problematic you actually cannot join cannot join these two these two objects so this is one of the reason the flexibility of usage is one of the reasons why I don't use the wall sweeps as part of the wall structure, but I prefer to use the wall sweep tool. So this is how you create wall returns, how you create wall sweeps around the ends of the wall. If this quick tip was helpful, hit the like button and take care.